Hey guys, we are here at the Fort Fisher Cove in the newest section of Compass Point, Timber Ridge. Um, this is a brand new model for Compass Point. This is the first one we've ever built here. Uh, this one was developed for our neighborhood in Catherine's Cove, which is in the Ogden area of Wilmington, and it was extremely successful in that neighborhood. So we decided to introduce it to Compass Point. Um, we have a new series. It's called the Cove Collection at Compass Point, and this uh, collection is serving a market from about 350 to the low fours. Um, so we're able to serve a, a market that we weren't able to do so before. And it's been very successful. Um, we've had a lot of positive feedback. This plan actually won the Brittle Homes Gold Award last year. And this year it's won the Brittle Homes Award, so it's won for two years in a row. And here soon you'll see why. Um, this home is on the market and it's available for a lease back. So the way a lease back works is you actually would purchase the house so there'll be two agreements. Uh, there would be the home purchase agreement, and then there'll also be a rental agreement where we'll use the house as a model um, to get other folks to buy the home. Um, so I look forward to you guys seeing it today. And it has a wonderful, nice, big front porch. You'll see that it has the nice low country, low country architecture. The, the material that we've used here is a James Hardy fiber cement. It's a, a cement board. Uh, holds up really well to the coastal elements here. Um, you'll find this on Riceville Beach and Carolina Beach, um, all the coastal areas. Um, a lot of the column details there. The brick foundation is very nice. You'll notice that the house features an 18 foot wide garage door. We put the keypad on there for you as well. Um, and this house does have a bonus room um, that we'll see here very shortly. But check out the entrance on this house. You have a nice big uh, front porch that you can enjoy. enjoy. Plenty of room for furniture. And then a very welcoming front door. Here's our bronze award that we just got today. So we're super excited about that. Um, note the, drop, the entrance to the house. You have these nice side lights. And see the height of the, uh, of, of the door. It's actually an eight foot door. It's a thermistry door. These doors hold up really, really well to the environment here. Uh, being at the coast of North Carolina, uh, we deal with a lot of heat, a lot of humidity, and a lot of sunlight. Um, these doors are the best doors that you can have for this area. It's a thermotrue fiberglass door. And as you walk in, one of the things I love about this house is the home's foyer and how welcoming it is. You see that you when you walk in, you have a nice entranceway that welcomes you into a very open living space. And right beyond that, you have this very large uh, slider that looks out onto the nature in the backyard, which is a really nice feature in this home. Um, everyone, one of the, the feedback that we received is that this home feels so much bigger than 2,200 square feet. As you can see here, this is a very nice sized open area. You've got the great, the great room, which has that beautiful shiplap fireplace with the built-ins on either side and the floating uh, mantle. And then you have the informal dining area. Um, what, we've, what we've heard from our customers is they're not looking to have a formal dining room that only gets used once or twice a year. They want a dining area that's open to the rest of the house so that you, know, you, you can have dinner and then play games and everyone can be part of the conversation because it has got that nice open feel to it. Uh, the kitchen has a ton of cabinetry as you can see. Um, and it does have a pantry also. So you can see the home's pantry. It's got a motion activated light. We actually custom site finish, uh, build all the shelving in here. Uh, so you don't have the slats where all your food falls through. It's a nice, uh, solid shelving there. One of the things people love about this house also is all the natural light. Um, you, it's, it, with little details like the, the, uh, the window here above the kitchen, uh, you'd be surprised how much natural light that window adds to this room. And it's all the little details that make the difference. Uh, one of the things that we do is we actually recess our sliders. Um, what that does is it does not create um, a step when you go from indoor to outdoor living. Uh, it creates like a natural flow from the outdoor space and the indoor space. Um, and it makes it a little bit more accessible. And one of the things that people ask me too 
is why we went with the biparting slider versus the telescopic slider. And the reason being is the telescopic sliders tracks are about three times the size of the biparting sliders. So it's much more of a threshold to go from inside to outside. Um, you'll note that we'll have the crushed shell finish. People really seem to be liking this, this finish. It's a nice coastal look. Um, there's actually local shells that we put into the, into the floor in here. Nice open screen porch. I like the fact that you get the cross breezes because there's not a solid wall on either side, which makes it really great for ventilation. You get a lot of, you can feel it right now, we can't feel it there. Uh, you can see that the wind's blowing through. Uh, so we get a lot of ventilation there. And we do include a patio off the back as well. Again, we're in the Timber Ridge section of Compass Point. Um, so we have a lot, of, a lot of nature back through here. It's very quiet. Um, it's amazing how many homes are under construction already in Timber Ridge. And we've got about nine more homes uh, on the line to come up soon. Uh, so it's very busy back here. It's, it's amazing to see all the activity. Um, and again, this home is available uh, for purchase for $490. And we do want to do a lease back on this home. So if you're interested but not quite ready to move yet, this is a great opportunity to get into Compass Point. I love the vaulted ceilings in here. It really opens up the space and just makes this look a really big area. So the house has three bedrooms and two baths on the first floor. Um, one of the bedrooms we're actually using is a flex space. This is a really big bedroom. Um, and it can be used for many different reasons. Uh, people tend to not need, you know, three full bedrooms on the first floor. So what we've show, shown here is it can be like a flex space, a den, or it could be a study. We have this piece of art here on the wall to show that you could put a large TV in here if you want this to be like a TV room. Uh, this is where you put your TV. You could have a couch in here. Because a lot of folks don't want to put the TV over the fireplace. So this will be a solution for that. Like I said, we do have another guest room here. One of the things that Troy does when we design the homes is she plans the design around furniture. Um, so all the, get, all the guest bedrooms are designed to have, accommodate a queen-size bed, two nightstands on either side, a piece of furniture, and a dresser. So you have all the necessities in the bedroom. Um, I think that's one of the things that makes this a little bit different, is all of our plans are designed by Troy, and they're designed uh, to be efficient and effective, and they're designed with a furniture template. So you know, the, if all those things are kept in mind whenever we're coming up with the design of the plan. And here's the guest bathroom, beautiful guest bathroom, very nice size. You will note that we have the, the full tile shower, the shower floor and the walls. Um, it really, really is nice, has a lot of natural light as well. And then we do have a coat closet here in the foyer. Um, we don't have to use those too often. It is uh, November the 10th and it is currently 80 degrees. Um, so it's not, you know, coats aren't something we need on a regular basis, but it is nice to have that for at least a raincoat if you need that. Um, here is the laundry area of the home. Um, so your washer and dryer would go in this area here, and that door there actually goes to your garage. And then this here is storage under the stairs. One of the things, like I mentioned earlier, is we like to use efficient, we have to, like to have efficient effective use of space. There's no waste of space in the home. And then this is our signature drop zone, which we are known for. Each one of the Hagen homes does have this, which is a really nice feature. All right, and now we'll go see the owner suite. We've received a lot of positive feedback on this. Uh, people love the windows, and the size is really nice. So what we have here is a king size bed, um, room for nightstands on either side, and then we have plenty of space for furniture, as you can see. We've got a table, chair, a uh, piece of furniture here, as well as one on the wall over there. Folks seem to really like the uh, lighted tray ceiling, a, a nice little dramatic effect for the owner's suite. And here's the owner's bathroom. Uh, uh, people really seem to be loving these LED backlit mirrors. They're just really, really cool and they're unique. 
Um, I don't see them in any other homes uh, in the area. We have the Wade Bowl sinks, which is a nice modern contemporary look with eight inch spread faucets. We use Moen as our included plumbing fixture. Again, lots of natural light with the window here in the, in the bathroom. Zero entry shower, which is really nice. It's a nice size shower. You got your shampoo niches there for your storage. And then of course the water closet. And then a very nice size closet. So plenty of storage space in this house. Um, you can have room for a chair in here. All right, and next we'll go upstairs to the bonus room. Upstairs, we're gonna have a lounge, a bedroom, and a bathroom. So the house in total is four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Notice the nice wide stairwell that's going up. Makes it easier to get the furniture in and out. So this is the lounge area of the bonus room. Um, one of the things that people notice with Hagen Holmes is we actually create a guest suite upstairs. It's not just a big bonus room. It's gonna have a living area, a sleeping area, and then a bathroom. So whenever you have guests come over, whether it's your family, friends, whomever, they have their own private space as well as you have your own private space here. You know, you can live together but not be on top of one another the entire time, which is a really nice, people seem to enjoy that. This is the, the bedroom here, and you have, you have your own bathroom right off the bedroom, which is a nice size. Again, lots of natural light up here. You got windows in every room. All right, and next we'll see the storage. Uh, this home has two storage areas. So here's one of them here. You can see you have lots of space and we have the spray foam insulation, which I will talk to you guys about in the other storage area. But you can see we have tons of storage here and it's a full door that goes into this area. So you're not going up some like pull down ladder through a hole in the ceiling. You have easily accessible storage that you can get to at any time that you want to. This is great for people that are coming from areas that have basements uh, here in the coastal Carolinas area. We don't have basements. So this is a nice substitute for that. And then this is another storage area in case that's not enough. This is huge. You have plenty of room. Um, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the spray foam insulation. Um, you one, you can see, it is not hot at all in here. It's 80 degrees today. Um, and what's really impressive is in July or August, um, people come into these attics and, you know, they go to all of my competitors and they open the door and it's like when you preheat the oven and you open the oven and it's just this heat wave just hits you automatically. When you come into a Hagen Holm attic, that is not going to happen. In the middle of summer in July and August, it's going to be 75 to 78 degrees even though it's 98 degrees outside. Just like today, it's, what is that, 69 degrees? Um, and it's 80 degrees outside. So it really, it's super effective. Um, so it's, the benefits of that are obviously, your HVAC is not gonna be working as hard. This is your, um, your air handler, and it's not gonna be sitting in 125 degree temperature trying to keep your house at 72, 73 degrees. It's just gonna be a few degrees warmer. So it's gonna last a lot longer and run much more effectively. Um, you also are gonna be able to store your things up here. You know, you can actually put candles up here and they're not gonna melt. Um, so all of your family memorabilia, your treasures aren't going to be destroyed in extreme heat and humidity with this spray foam insulation. Um, another benefit of the spray foam is it's a sound buffer. Um, so it's gonna eliminate, you know, if you're living in an area like this, where there's construction going on all around us, you hear none of the construction because it does eliminate all those sounds. Um, it also is going to eliminate um, the ridgement, which is the, the peak of the roof. 
There's no gable vents on the sides of the house, and there's also no soffit vents. Um, so what the benefit of that, no insects, no animals, um, no pollen or dust or debris are coming into the house. So if you have allergies, that's a huge benefit. Um, and, and then also, we are at the coast. Wind-driven rain is a thing here. And when people think about flooding, they think of like, you know, the Noah's Ark, the water, flood waters rising. That's not typically how houses flood. Houses typically flood from the top down. And so you'll have water intrusion through your ridge vents or any kind of ventilation, your gable vents, and then it'll actually come into the house that way. This house has none of those areas for that water intrusion to come into. Um, so it is going to withstand the storms a lot better than any other types of construction. So let's head back downstairs. I want to show you the main living area one more time just so you can kind of get uh, a refresher on that. Just look at how bright and airy this house is. It's absolutely, it's a happy house. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, again, this house is on the market. It's right at 490. Um, it is available for a lease back. So if you have any questions or want any more information, feel free to email me at josha at hagenholmes.com or give me a call or text at 828-638-6720 or visit our website hagenholmes.com. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.